So let's be honest. Everybody wants a Percy. And I mean, why not? Look at how cute these guys are. But no matter how cute your suit is, how well made it is, you're pushing your body a lot harder than you usually are. In fact, arguably, the cuter your fursuit, the more you're going to suffer. In fact, I made this chart immediately after recording this. But if you don't want to suffer, if you don't want to sweat more than you've ever sweat, there's multiple different types of suits. And that's the wonderful thing. Is you can go from happily chilling around staying cool to sweating as much as you like in your adorable shag carpet. So, without further ado, let's see which suit works for you. Partials, the easiest of the suits to wear because you don't have a thick blanket of fur over you. If you don't like overheating, sweating bullets to look adorable, the partial is the best of both worlds. The, the added bonus, they can dress up however they want, and I mean, look at it. They got an amazing style right there. All those suits are adorable and stylish as hell. Plantigrade grade fursuits. These are suits that don't have any extra padding and stay relatively close to your body. These are for people who enjoy running, jumping, playing around, being very active in their suits. While they stay very close to your body, this is good because it helps you vent air really well, so you still stay relatively cool during your adventures, and you still have a lot to work with, and you're still adorable. I mean, look at these guys. Now, Digigrade fursuits are quite similar to Plantigrade. The only difference is they have leg padding that gives them a more animalistic features, and we don't, they don't have straight legs like Plantigrades do. Now, they're really good for that cool visual effect, but because of all the padding and extra pa stuff that has to go onto them, it heats up a lot faster, meaning you won't be in them as long or you'll be suffering a bit more. These suits are very good for people who have more experience suiting and understand the heat requirements for it, or just in, don't like marathon suiting or suiting for as long as a lot of other people do. But you can go ahead and marathon suit still, like... I'm just a dog on a screen telling you things, not a cop. Actually, just a firefighter, so. Now for what I'd call fursuit hell. Not because they're bad suits or anything, but to do these, even having been trained as a firefighter, they're hot. They're cute, and they're super interesting, but the way they are designed, the way they work, they make them extremely warm and extremely humid. Now, you probably know the suits that I'm talking about, so let's get right into it. <laughs> kimono suits. These suits are made by Satan himself, and if you remember the chart at the start of the video, to be this cute, you gotta suffer. And to do that, they covered the eyes with plastic, and they gave them tiny mouth syndrome. Meaning that both the main ways to vent air from a suit have disappeared. Now, that essentially just means that you're gonna cook from the inside out, and uh, Boy, are they cute! <laughs> I love these suits, but just the way that the airflow works in them makes them very hard to enjoy. And a friend that does come out of suiting has said, everyone who says they want one, and the advice that they give is don't get one, but really, it's up to you how cute you want to be, and if you can do it, go for it. It just takes a lot of work to deal with and actually be able to function in them. Now for quad suits. Nowadays quad suits are amazing, like this one, oh god. Different one, different one, different one, thank you, thank you, okay. Now, these are very crazy because they require you to, well, walk on all four legs. So you're pretty much on all fours, on a kind of elevated platform, walking with all four of your legs. Now, compared to kimonos, they have really good ventilation. Theirs might actually be some of the best compared to most fursuits, because a lot of the time their head's not where the head is, so they have like a large amount of clear mesh that can give a good airflow. Why they heat up so fast, though, is they're working twice as much as we are, if not more. Because they are, well, we're only using two limbs, they're using four. They're walking a lot and putting a lot of effort into going half the speed that we'll be going. So, they're crazy. I love them. They do a great job. Keep it up. You guys are amazing. I wouldn't recommend this for anybody new to suiting. This is definitely like the highest tier of people get quad suits. So definitely be careful when getting one, but they are beautiful and amazing.
Now that I've gone over all the suits that I know of, if I did forget any, let me know down below in the comments. But that's all I have for this episode. What kind would you get? What kind do you prefer if you have one already? Let me know down below. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. Bye!